But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. Bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead, and he is alive again. He was lost, and he is found. And they began to be married. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants, and asked what these things meant. And he, and he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted cow, because he received him safe and sound. And he was angry, and would not go in. Therefore came his father out, and then he prayed him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, this many years I have served thee, neither transgressed I any at any time thy commandment, and yet thou never gavest me a key that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which had devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the father's cup. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. Because of I. It was meant that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead, and is alive again, and was lost, and is found. Let's pray, Lord, my salamat mo. Thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. We pray that you will bless this message as we again uh, learn from this and glean what, we, what wisdom we can get here. Especially to avoid being this um, backslider that uh, we don't want to be. But uh, it's very common uh, among churches. So Lord, please be merciful to us and give us wisdom that we might learn from this and not uh, in any way go by this way. And uh, if ever, we can help also those that are lost, have lost their way. But especially don't... Uh, uh, help us, Lord, do not to be backslidden at any time. But in case, Lord, please receive us and let us help us for others. But again, may we be wise that we never uh, be like this, the younger son, the prodigal son. We pray that you will bless us and give us wisdom, prepare our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 May you sit down. Okay, the title of this message is, again, this is a redo, no? This is a, I preached this last March 20, last year. So by means of request, somebody on YouTube uh, requested this be in English. Actually, he's just asking for transcript, but uh, I think it's better to do it this way, no? So because uh, it's a lot of work. But uh, we're also practicing the English in case. So I thought I would do this in English. Amen? Amen. Amen? So who was there when I preached this last March? Who was not? Do you remember this? Actually, we have a guest here. I, I will not forget because <laughs> she's the reason why. But still the message is very re relevant to any of us amen so the title is i perish with hunger subtitle is the miserable life of a backslider when we say backslider this is a picture or this is a person or this is a something we call a christian so why backslide because uh, the christian life is let's say hard at times amen uh, you try to do the will of God, many times it's hard. So you're, the picture is like you're going uphill, right? So many, many trials, some will, uh, like what I heard last, this, uh, just this uh, time, if you live godly, the Bible said, you will suffer persecution. So that will be from almost anybody, your family, your friends, or so-called friends, or neighbors, right? So life is not uh, the same for you when you got saved, especially when you live godly. 
So we can picture that as like uh, going uphill. Now, by the time that you realize that uh, this life is hard, so what you will do, either go back or you still face the, this direction, but you go, you slide back. So that's the reason we call it backslider. So either willingly or let's say uh, that's a result of the hardship, still Christians supposedly doing and going this direction for the Lord and serving Him, many times He is backslidden. Okay? So is that obviously that's not right, but again we understand, man. Those are uh, understandable, but in a way, no, because uh, if you trust the Lord and He can do everything and He's good, He's uh, merciful, why, why would you backslide, man? If you have hard times, at least you just stay there, right? You don't backslide. Okay, so the objective is that the brethren may understand how a miserable how, how miserable a Christian in a backslidden state and avoid it. So, I believe if we can understand, because the, the issue is here. Sometimes and many times, the, when we, for example, these two are friends and the other backslide, the other one will also, uh, there's a lot of chance, there's a great chance that they will backslide also. And even us, we can see the backsliders, they're so happy, I think, right? Ah, they're so happy. They're not serving the Lord. Like uh, Psalm 73. But it's, Psalm 73, actually, uh, it's unbeliever. So, but we can also relate to believers that are backslidden. Meaning, uh, they don't serve the Lord anymore or not that much as they have before. Okay? So that's a backslider. So we will define uh, some terms here like misery. When you say misery or miserable, it is a term actually reserved for very bad state no? or condition of anybody. So just uh, we'll just uh, look at here. This is one of the you know, very, very unhappy, full of misery, unhappy, wretched Deserve your inciting pity, right? Uh, kawawa, and that's why we very poor condition or quality, miserable. So again, as we can see in this story, at first, it is actually the opposite. He thinks he is uh, living the life. But we can see and we will see how quickly that will turn for him in the negative. So, when we say perish, because our <coughs> theme in our title is I perish with hunger. When you say perish, that's again negative. No? Oftentimes, we, we uh, refer to those uh, people going to hell as perishing, right? So, we sing the song, Rescue the Perishing. If we don't win them to the Lord with the gospel, they will go to hell. And that is the ultimate form of perishing and damnation okay so but it can refer to something else other than hell okay and then hunger when you hunger is a state of uh, let's say negative also right so we don't want to be hungry especially for a very long time sometimes we can be hungry for hours we are sacrificed because what we're doing something uh, but we, as much as we can, we should eat. Because if you don't eat, something uh, will happen to your body. Okay? And uh, okay lang if uh, fasting and uh, temporarily. So hunger is not something that we want. It's negative towards us. So this uh, afternoon, we refer we will refer to the backslider something as somebody being hungry or uh, I perish with hunger. You can see that this person will either die, right? Or be very damaged in his body because of hunger. So, but remember, 
we will take it spiritual application okay now uh, I, I must say because this uh, story is actually they call this the prince of parables eh? because so many preachers use this to mean uh, deliver message uh, that are diverse sometimes uh, it, you can use it in many other way but even us so but this time actually the more evident is this should be uh, compared to a christian actually because as you can see so that's my first point okay so let's see now let's start we have 11 points the characteristics of a backslider's life obviously that's, that's not positive but later we will see some also some hope no so number one as we can see in verse number 11 <clears throat> and he said a certain man had two sons so we can compare this to two kinds okay if we make it simple two kinds of christian sons of god but the other is they call it prodigal hindi masunurin uh, tigas ang ulo hard headed what else so but still this is, he is a son so you know that if you're saved so saved na ba si Chris Wynn are you saved you sure about heaven you go to heaven when you die amen so so the, here today we'll uh, refer to these two sons as saved amen christians we'll compare ourselves so, so why sons because they are saved now so the our first point is they're considered saved a, car, a backslider is still saved let's remember that man so especially in the church what we want to learn Sometimes we refer, we study the unbelievers, but most of the time we should study the believers because we are believers and we are saved. So we want also to know what we will do with our life in certain situations. So in case our brother, or sister, or we ourselves uh, happen to be backslidden, we should know. So number one, considered saved. But uh, we should also notice, please notice, in verse 12, it is said there, And the younger of them said to his father, For give me the portion of goods that fall to me, and he divided unto them their living. So, like Christians, there are younger and elder Christians. Okay? For example, you got saved 10 years ago, the expectation for you is you, uh, you should be already matured. Unlike the new Christian. But again, spiritually, some are growing fast. Some are growing slow. So obviously, we should grow fast. Amen? And steady. But at the moment, what my point here is, let us notice that some Christians are young and therefore immature. So another point, consider the level of maturity because it will manifest soon enough. Amen? For example, uh, we, uh, all, all, uh, we all study the God's Word here, but we, we cannot expect everybody have the same level of maturity because some others are just listening and they not their head, but sometimes they are not listening. They have other plans for their lives. So let us consider that uh, at the start. Okay? So number one, the backslider is still saved. But the maturity is young, okay? So number two, as we can see in the story, what did he do? He asked for something that he should not ask, okay? It's, yes, it is biblical that your father will give you inheritance, amen? That's a default, that's the law of the land, even in the Bible, because your father have uh, given you I mean, he has accumulated wealth, for example, mayaman siya, is rich, or not that rich, but still, he have accumulated wealth. 
is not only for him, especially when he die. Amen? So that will be passed on to his inherit uh, in uh, well, that, uh, beneficiary or inher inheritor. Heirs, the heirs, no? So either the living wife or the children specially. But the thing here is he's not, the father is not yet dead. So this is very foolish and very presumptuous of the child. But the, again, this is a parable, so the Lord is just showing us something. He's teaching us something, so he, uh, the story goes on that even if the father is not yet dead, he agreed to give him his portion, his inheritance. Okay? It happens that he's very rich. Okay? So what do we see here? So the, the younger son is carnal. Okay, again, it's a very... Kumbaga sa Tagalog, parang pinatay mo na yung tatay mo, hindi pa nga patay. Okay, it's not yet dead, why would you get? So it's like, uh, what? You, you think your father is dead? Because you want your inheritance? Eh, dapat sa kanya pa nga yun eh. You should enjoy his riches because it is his. It's not yours. It's not you, you shouldn't inherit because it's not yet dead. And yet, uh, because the the younger son is carnal and very selfish, he presumed that it is for him already. Okay, so very carnal. So how how else do we say he's carnal? Because he said here, verse 13, How did he spend the riches and the wealth and the fortune? And not many days after the young son got together and took his journey to the far country and there wasted his substance. Now, it's not uh, bad. It's not against the law to buy and sell, right? It's not wicked necessarily if you you know buy cell phone tablet if you can afford right however the description here was wasted meaning for example you don't have to spend so much for an item that you don't need necessarily but you still do because you're full man so many rich people do this but especially this one we have no backup he has no experience to earn money. He just wasted it. When you call the substance that is money, and then riotous, wasteful. I mean, uh, when you say riotous, you know riot, right? It is very out of uh, order. So chaos. So when you say you are riotous living, therefore, uh, you can say that he's not thinking very well. Just spend and spend, and then it's all sped up. So it's very carnal, amen? amen? So let us consider this point now. If you are not a backslider at the moment, actually the backslidden state is, can be considered uh, temporarily. Let us remember that. It doesn't mean that you're in church, you're not carnal, and you're not backslidden. For example, uh, you're expected to be early, you're expected to learn, you're expected to hear, or you do whatever is expected of you, and then you're not doing it, or you're not giving your best. That's considered backsliding. And remember, if you, you get used to that, what will happen is, uh, later you will backslide and wow, wh why, what happened? Always remember backsliding and this kind of sins doesn't um, happen in a moment. Meaning, uh, that happened uh, accumulated. For example, if somebody here just uh, le le left the church, ah, I wonder what happened. If we just know what is going on in his mind, more often than not, he had backslidden for a, a days or weeks or months before he will 
leave the church if he's in good standing. Then just leave the church. That's not the case. So again, that's why we're studying this. This should not happen to us, but we should avoid it. And how do we avoid it? Consider this. You are saved. You should be thankful. You, sh you are saved, but we're, our level of maturity is not the same. Don't assume that you are matured when you're not. So get matured. Mag mature ka, mag mature ka. Pero wag, don't assume that you're matured when you're not matured. So just uh, do what you should do to mature and uh, through maturity and not something you just uh, show off to other people. And then carnal, you accept that if you enjoy other things, amen? In this church, in the preaching we have here, we always point out, right, the, the carnal activities of this world that we should not participate in. Alam nyo yun. You know that. Take talk. What else? Sometimes we can do that, but controlado, amen? Controlled. But especially the, alam nyo, magbastos talaga. Wala talaga. Since zero ta, participation. We should not have zero participation in that. If you have friends, right? Why would you be friends with unbelievers? Be friend to them. I'll always say, di ba? Be friend to them. Show them the gospel. Help them if you can, but don't be friend to them or them to you in a way that you're close to them. You want to be with unbelievers. Why? What benefit do you have? You, you, you're happy? And what activity do you do, do, you do with unbelievers? Then, if you enjoy worldly things, something's wrong with you. Admit that you're carnal and then do something about it. Don't Sa Tagalog, huwag niyong panindigan. Ano ba sa English? Don't, don't stand there. Okay? So, he's riotous, wasteful. So, for us, if you can see that you're not progressing, you're not maturing in the faith, hindi ka pa rin nag enjoy you don't enjoy church, you don't enjoy singing, you don't enjoy soul winning, you're not impressed with the Word of God, something's wrong with you. And at that point, you should seek the Lord. If you need help, you seek help. Amen. And there's help in the church. But if you don't admit, and you just uh, assume that you're okay, then you will have even more problem. Amen? Amen? So number three, what else characterizes a backslider? Number three, in, uh, the same verse, if you notice, what did he do? So he already had the riches, but he d is not contented. First thing that he do he did was to go, took his journey to a far country. Why far country? Why does why that? Why does it just he go to the next road or the next block? Right? He had the money, he spent it there. But no, you know the characteristic of a backslider. Especially in the church. I always uh, told you, and you notice, right? For example, we follow up people. They know they are saved. And they know they have to be in church. But when you follow up, it's like, they, they do the effort to just avoid you. And some, some, some people even run. Why? Because they know. The disco they have this conflict in their heart. They want they should do this, but they don't want to because they are backslidden in heart. And so we can uh, see here also in the young son, he doesn't just want to spend his living here, uh, very close to his father and brother, because it they will see it, right? And then when they see it, definitely they will go and warn them, warn him. If they say, what are you doing? Right? Doesn't even want to be seen. So he goes to the far country. So where the point here is, the characteristic of a backslider is isolated. He isolates himself. And even worse, he's not isolated of people, right? We don't isolate them. They're welcome. We make them known to them that you're still welcome here. 
But the thing is, they are the ones who isolate themselves. It's even worse. Because how do we follow up the, them up? How do we encourage them if they just trust us away? And they go somewhere else. Amen. As much as possible, out of our sight, right? Out of God's sight, as if, that, as if that's possible. That's not possible, but they try to do it. Because they're backslidden. And it's a miserable situation. Amen? Amen. So, point for us, in case, Man, are you listening? Yes. In case you feel this way. Sometimes you feel that you don't want to see the pastor or the brethren. Why? Because something is wrong with you. That is a characteristic of a backsliding person. So here we have problems before. But I can see if the, that person wants to be right with the Lord. You know what will that do? That person, at least they, he will not avoid the church, the pastor especially. Because that is God-given help for him or her. Hindi ka magtatago sa pastor. Amen? Sa church. So don't isolate yourself, but backslider, isolate yung sarili niya. Okay, far country. Next, number four. Ano pa? What else characterizes in... Ito, talaga negative na ito. No? Sabi, 14. Verse 14, it says, And when he had spent all... Huh? How come? I thought I'm very rich. You see, but everything has an end. If you know one million, huh? how do we like spend how one million? If you don't know how to earn, that eventually will be spent off. Ubus yan. Spiritually, ano yan? <clears throat> you know this backslider. Why do they do that? I mean, especially those people that we follow up, they think they are acceptable and there's, they will, there will not come a time that pastor will not welcome me. Right? That's, that, that's what they think. They think whatever, whenever, forever, I will still be accepted. Right? Or they will not... Uh, go out of you know resources so to speak so either money or spiritually the, these are chances to you know uh, live your life but no the fact of the matter is eventually if you don't uh, take care of spiritual life don't think that it will not be spent of that will someday man even your chance with your friends so it is said here, he has spent all. So what happened here? What happens when you spend all, all your money? And you're in a far country. How do you expect? What do you expect? What, what will happen to you? Oh, I have friends. But remember, those are fake friends because they are friends to you because you were rich at that time. These are not relationships that are meaningful, right? These are temporary friendship. So what happened here is what? He spent also, my point here is, if you're a backslider, you have no security. No security. And when, when you have no security or you have no money in the world where we need money to provide for basically everything, right? Shelter, food, you need money. What happens if you have no money? You spend it all. Nothing's left. Patay ka. Ano sa English yun? You're done. Ang ganda na. You're doomed. Ang ganda namang, you're dead. Ang ganda pa rin sa English eh. Sa Tagalog, patay ka, tapos ka. You're finished. So you have no security. If you have no security, you're vulnerable to problems. Sana yung mga bata. Amen. Iba sa atin, kala nyo, you think everything you will uh, eat, makakain kayo, wala lang. Amen? Because in, in your home, where your parents provide everything for you, you just uh, look at the table, oh, magic, I have food. But that's not reality. 
You have God because somebody provided you Amen. with food. When you're all alone, that's not the case. And spiritually, what happens to you when pag lumayo ka sa Panginoon, when you thrust yourself out far from the Lord, you think those people, huh, the same, the church people and the people outside, you think they're the same? You're, you're crazy if you think that's the, the case. That's not the case. When you spend everything, you're vulnerable to problem. The example for this is famine. Now, if you if there is a place where there is a famine, like for example, what happened uh, just a few years back, right? There come a pandemic, amen. So who was the most affected? The rich people, they're affected. Depends on the what your business and your livelihood, right? Some are affected, but mostly, yung mga nagpapakamatay, men, the, the most affected are the poor people. Especially, they have to, they have to work, and the, the workplace and the work, nature of the work is affected by the pandemic, men. There is either the restrictions, actually more on the restrictions. Eh. I don't believe uh, that many died from COVID. Men? So the point here is this Famine, especially in their time It's, uh, it's like rotating eh. Nangyayari siya, it happens Like even in our Time today uh, Ano tawag nila? Recession, it happens it, it happens, but If you are far from your Support group, man From your family If you are near your family They can just, if you Kung nagkulang ka ng konti, no? They can provide for you. Then you can return back the favor if you have the money. But if you don't have even friends, you're done. Okay? So no security. And sabi dyan, in want. And next, this is the, I think, the worst. No? The most negative of our points. What happened there? He was so... Poor, so he, what he did, he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. Okay. Somehow the representation here is he was not joining anybody prior to this, meaning uh, he don't want to be have uh, communication or friendship because he doesn't need anything before, because he has a lot of money before, but this time he was in one, and so. For the first time, after he left home, he joined himself. So he was humbled. But, what happens? When you're dealing with other people and not safe and not your family, they will not be very consider considerate to you, of course. Right? You, uh, you're another person to them. So what he did, this other citizen, yes, he helped him, but... Did he help him as in feed him or give him a job that is, you know, prestigious job or good job? No, because he's out of character. Man, he's not good. He's bad and these people know it. These people know it anyway. You, don't, you, you cannot hide, kids. You cannot hide your character. People will recognize that you don't have to be psychologist. Amen? If I know your past, for example, you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, and then they leave you or they leave them, or you work for, from one place to another, and then you, hindi ka nagtatagal, okay? you can hold a job. More or less, not a corrupt person, but you have problems. Amen? You have character problems. And so, what we can see, we, we, he gave him a job, but only a fine uh, feeder of the swine. I mean, a lowly job. Amen? It's better than nothing, but still, this is very humiliating for somebody who is used to have a lot of riches. Amen? And then, verse 16, can you read? Have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and 
no man gave unto me. No, this is the rock bottom that they call, amen? You're very hungry. And uh, you're used to eating what's the best uh, food that you know? Yeah, that's the uh, uh, filet mignon, if you even know that. But uh, spaghetti, Jollibee, yeah, fine dining, well, Max. Uh, last time we ate at, because it didn't discounted, it's my dream to eat at Italianis. I don't even know that because I think it's social. Ano man yan? SM, Kuya J. Chopping. If you're used to eating that way, yun people are serving you. Sir, ma'am, this is the food. Ano pang gusto nyo dyan? What do you want? Additional service. And then, you have this uh, Vikings. Eat all you can. Now, what do you call this? Even if you can, you can't eat. You cannot just eat. You have no money. You have no value. So he only wants the food of the swine. You when you call swine, that's pig. Swine pig. Kanin baboy. Have you seen kanin baboy? Ngayon pa, nauso ka na ako eh. Because, of course, right? Those are wasted food, left over for how many days? Even the smell will uh, throw your whatever. But he wants it because he has nothing. Now, spiritually, imagine that. Sometimes we ask ourselves, what happened to this Christian? It's, a, it's as if when you, when you try to talk to the Christian, he have no... Uh, he does, it, does it have he does it want the word of God why? what happened? You don't have appetite in the word of God, the church the brethren they don't want it because spiritually they are very very poor very uh, let's say very poor, wasted or uh, miserable almost helpless or hopeless when we follow up Christians, at least when they talk to you, right? Ay, kamusta? How are you? Oh, I want to go to church, but at least they want to go to church. But some others, they will not. They will ignore you. They will run from you. And even worse, others will get, give excuse. Ah, I don't want church because something else or because of you, because of the others. They will lie to you just not to be in the church. So that is worse, very worse. So that's the very worst situation that any Christian could be. Amen? So number five, number one, consider safe, but number two, carnal, number three, isolated. Number four, no security, but number five, poor and miserable, almost helpless. So do you want to backslide? Just a bit. But just a bit of backsliding will possibly, like, you know, when you're driving on a slope, especially the last time, right? And the, on uh, Montalban, there was a truck there, punong puno, no? Ayita natin. I think when they are going uphill, kaya pa eh. But when they start to stop and the weight is pulling them back, when you stop, and it will drag you down. That is the Christian life. Amen. As Christians, we have many enemies. The devil is there, his minions, and other weak Christians, carnal Christians, they're there, the black sliders. If you start to backslide, absent, absent, late, late, it starts there. Then you lie about, you know, your condition. I'm okay, Pastor. I'm just busy. For two weeks? Right? Something's wrong. You're backslidden already. 
So what we're saying here, don't backslide not even a bit. Amen? If you need help, ask for help. But don't lie about your condition. Amen? Amen. Because if you get used to lying, you already have a preaching there, right? Liars. Okay, but number six, verse 18, <clears throat> actually 17 and 18 sabi dyan. and when he came to himself so it's only at this point that he came to himself meaning before this he was uh, like oh it's uh, it's nice to be far from home i don't like home i'm i don't like the church i want to be far from the church and then he remembered his condition right now is a lot more miserable than when he was with the Lord. So what will we do? I'm up. When, they, when I return, I will be humiliated. So what? Still their condition there is a lot better. Sometimes there are other Christians, you know why they don't want to return? They will be, again, they, of course they will uh, hear the preaching as usual. That's what we do. Amen? But they don't want it. They, want, they don't want correction. But when they get used to it, palubog na palubog, downward spiral, it will be worse for them if they not, do not return. Again, we don't tell people that to go to this church necessarily, right? If, you're, uh, if you really don't want Pastor A's face, then you can go to another Baptist church, right? If you're saved. Amen. Just go there, serve the Lord. You don't have to be here. But go to the Lord. Go to a Bible-believing church, Baptist church. Amen? But some are just uh, all together. They, they uh, give up on church. You're done. <clears throat> so, but this is the good point. Okay, when he came to himself, he said, How many hard... So he compared himself to the hard servants. Okay? And then... <coughs> right here he this is only the time that he our title is I perish with hunger he realized his miserable condition and in case you come to this point I hope not but still if you realize what do you have to do so now verse 18 as he said I will rise I arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Okay, so there's the hope. Well, there's a hope because he has his father. Now, the unsaved, the reprobates, no hope. Okay, we don't have a suggestion for them what to do because they're reprobates. But for Christians, saved Christians, even if they're backslidden, the good thing is if they're saved, we call them home. Amen? To the Lord. If not in heaven, at least in the church. Go back. Amen. Amen. Humble yourself. Amen. I will hear the preaching again. Well, maybe if you listen to that preaching, you will not be in that miserable condition. Amen. That's the thing. And so why not welcome the preaching? Amen. The hard preaching, the sermon, the rebuke. Why not? So this is the hope. Yeah? We have the point. Still have hope in the Lord. Amen? Amen? If you're a Christian, you still have hope. Next. There was the humility. I uh, said, I am no more worthy to be called. Amen? So he realized he had done something very wrong. And so he's willing to give up the pride, the whatever that is, the source of his pride, whatever that is, the expectation, the entitlement. In English, what you call entitled, I am a son of the, my father which is rich. Yeah, but you were not, what? You were not worthy. You wasted it. And so, why do we know, how do we know that he is humbling himself and repenting? Because of this, what he said. He will not go back to his father and assert his being son. No, he just said, Treat me as one of thy hard servants. At least, alam, alam niya, he knows that it is his father. At least, maaawa sa kanya. Hindi katulad nung isa. Not like the one, oh, you, you feed the pig, but you feed the pig, not yourself. 
saklap di ba? Miserable. So again, still have hope in the Lord. And number seven, needs humility and repentance. So always remember that. So here, if we have, we see somebody's willing to go back, but we cannot see repentance. We cannot see sorry for his sins. We are possible, possible that we will not accept that person because what anong, what they will do to the church? I influence others to be like him, backslider, and mayabang pa, prideful. So the good thing here, if you humble yourself, you repent of that sin, then you will be considered again, no? In the turning back. So next is, what do we do? Characteristic pa ito ng backsliding, ha? So it needs, needs humility and depends. Number eight, you need to go back. Okay? So finally, if you know I'm wrong, but I will stay here. What's the use? If you believe your father loves you still, go back. Amen? Amen. If you happens to talagang you backslide, at least harapin mo yung tatay mo. Amen? Amen. You seek for his face, you say sorry, and then together with saying sorry, show yourself as a repentant person. And then you can hope for uh, again, consideration and forgiveness. So, number eight, need to go back to the Lord. Sabi dyan, he go back to the Lord. And what happened here was, amazingly, what happened? Because the Father is a loving Father. Amen. And for the loving Father, His Son, it is His Son, it is Child, whatever happens. Amen? We always say that in our soul we did because it is the truth. Amen? Amen. With uh, God the Father, is. Is very merciful. And we only need to repent and then you humble ourselves and then go back and then accept whatever judgment that you will receive from Him. Amen? That's the sign of humility. What will He do? Well, you just accept it because you admit that you're wrong. And He will be the right person to tell you what will you do next. Amen? But anyway, it is very wonderful or what happened here is actually, uh, if you see, if you consider this, it's not, parang hindi realistic. But still, the reason is, the Lord wants us to realize something here. Amen. Amen. So what happened is he go back to his father, but when he was great way off, meaning his father, he knows, right? He's a father. And he knows the capability and the weakness of the son. In a way, he's estimating, huh, it's uh, nine months. He will have no, by two months, he will not have no money anymore because he doesn't know how to earn. So, by this time, he's already waiting. Amen? Amen. And the point there, brethren, you know what? If something went wrong, if you sin against God, our Father, you can expect that He's waiting for you. Amen? Amen. That's the same. That is true for others also. So, <coughs> the Lord is waiting. You just need to go, go back. And then, as we as said here, uh, His Father saw Him. Malayo pa siya. His Father saw Him and had compassion and ran and fell, in, fell on his neck so he embraced him amen, amen. so dito nga ulit Stephen nakita nyo na itong ano namin di ba the kiss on the dito kiss na ano ano ari ikaw po ito po digal santo eh po, digal nyo hindi lakad ka dun ganun ka magsisisi ka and then I saw Stephen Stephen <laughs> Man. <laughs> Anong bali wala. Can you see the contrast here, man? Amen. When you go back to the Lord, Amen. He's more than excited to kiss you and run to you. Amen. Just repent. Believe that He loves you. And then you go back to Him. Amen. Go back to Him. 
Tara Stephen, good example. Ang lakas ko ba kayo nito? He wants to... He eats so much. And so, sometimes when he has sin, that's what I use. Okay? Sometimes he is very... Any rebel? Rebel. Okay, you don't want to watch TV, your cell phone, you don't give me, okay. It's okay, but I should eat. So what I do, sometimes lang, ha? I don't feed him, okay? And then there, we, he will realize, I need you, I don't want to rebel. Amen? Sometimes God uses that. Amen. Because we cannot, we cannot deny this, amen? It's our body, we need to feed. Now, if you're a Christian, you want fellowship. Amen? Amen. That's why we are part of discipline. We trust away, or at least uh, threaten to trust away a brethren if we continue in his sin. Amen? Amen? So that's it. So we need you to go back to the Lord. Welcome ka. You're welcome to go back. As you have seen here, uh, what happened here is... Uh, the the good thing here is he has repented and he confessed amen i have sinned against seven they said i'm no more worthy and then but but the response of the father is he love him uh it's contrast no so i the shape paluin okay you're welcome but he give him the best robe amen. the ring in his hand shoes in his feet and then, the fatted calf. Amen. He said, he rejoiced. He loved his son. And then, the mere fact that he came back, he loved that. Okay? So, there. Actually, if we end there, it's a very happy situation. <laughs> very happy. But, the fact of the matter is, it doesn't end there. Amen? So they began to marry, but ah, they have a brother. So this elder brother is the better son, right? However, there is a conflict. For example, here we have a brethren here. It's not following, it's rebelling, and then openly rebelling, and then other people, of course, they know it. They are following the Lord, and this one is not following the Lord, and then... May abang pa, prideful. <coughs> what will happen if that one is forgiven? So if everybody is matured enough, then we will be rejoicing with the Father. Amen. However, that's not always the case and very often that's not the case. Sometimes when we welcome back somebody here, somebody else will open his mouth against that brother. Because, of course, like what we see here, the conflict is the other one is a good one, but the other one is a bad son. Why would you favor some somehow it is being she is being favored, right? The prodigal son. So this time, verse 25, there's a conflict with the elder and the younger son. But of course, the problem of the elder son is the judgment of the father. So what happened here was he doesn't want to go in. Okay? He was angry, 28. Okay? Why would you be angry when your, when your brother come home? Well, he have uh, wasted a lot of money, time, and then he has a bad example for the whole group, for the church, in our case. So yeah, in a way, we would understand the elder brother, right? So my point here is, number 10, it's not that easy. Number 10, characteristic of backslider's life. Yes, you're welcome to go back, but you can have difficulty to be received back. Okay? You will be received back, pero, but it can be difficult. As we can see here, Supposedly, his brother also will welcome him back with open arms, but because of the sin that you committed, and together with that, all the consequences of your sin, what will happen? It will affect other people. Amen? Amen. Even the pastor especially. 
Why will you? That's what happened here. Why? He was angry. And then he. Uh, <coughs> Tawag dito. Nagkwento pa siya or. He stated all things that he did. So usually a matured Christian or a matured person, he just serve and serve, right? He serve. But sometimes when that so, sort of justice, right? If you if you uh, you serve right, you expect to be exalted or promoted. But the sin here is it's like the other one who got promoted or celebrated, right? With the fatted calf. Wow. It's like you're very special and I'm just working here and not special. You killed the fatted... You can uh, give an example here. He throw a party. Okay? The prodigal son came and... Okay, we're party. Three nights. Pool party pa. Uh, ano ba? Catering pa. Tapos ako, tabaho ng tabaho, working and working. Okay, you eat Jollibee. That's, all, that's enough, ha? Jollibee. Five friends only. So he is angry because he thinks he was not done justice to. Okay? So what's the point again? If you come back and you did something wrong because you're a backslider, you cause trouble to some other people. Amen? Even the bet better people. So that's the point. So again, we just added, because it is in the Bible, don't trouble some other people like that. Amen? They're, just, they're all already doing what is right. And then because of you, he will have problem with the pastor or the, the parent. Because of you. Because you're backslider. So last What else can we add? It's very bad, amen? You have uh, hope, but it's very bad So lastly What happened here is The father explained Explained to the elder son The better son these uh, things okay so let's read and then we'll get the message but as soon as this the son was come which had devoured the living with harlots that was killed him for the fun cup and he said unto him son thou art ever with me and all that i have is thine it was meet that we should make merry and be glad for this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found so we already got the last part, no? Sa 32. But because the, the love of the father to the son is overwhelming and true, for him it was like meat, okay? It was okay to just spend all that uh, money because he is happy because the brother is comparably dead before. But he was alive because he returned again. But... My point here is in 31. <coughs> what he said was, Thou, uh, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. <coughs> what do you want as a Christian? To get what you want only, or share that blessing with the Lord? Amen. With the church? Right? I mean, Aside from the fact that you cost trouble, of course, you do, that's not what you want, amen? But still, even if you had that, it is still better to share everything with the Lord, amen? I don't know, ako dyan, eh. I, uh, Sometimes it's uh, better to backslide and enjoy the world. At least I enjoyed. No! Comparably, it is better to be with ever with the Lord. Whatever happens, when uh, there are uh, troubles, at least you're in the Lord. Amen? Amen. There's even a song. It's a cardinal song, but you know the cardinal song, eh, they exalt the flesh, right? 
But I will still sing. No, I will not sing. But I will show you the lyrics. Okay? There was a song. There. I'd rather have bad times with you than, you know, than good times all myself, all by myself, with someone else. Alam na alam niyo, ha? But obviously, that's wrong because that is worldly. Amen? Amen. But why not apply that to the Lord? Amen. That's not it. If you are matured, you love the Lord, whatever happens if you are in the Lord, with the Lord, and with the church, whatever happens, it's, you should be happy. Amen? Amen? According to that song, but that's carnal. Amen? That's wrong because he's applying it to the woman, right? Which is actually replaceable. But to the Lord, to the church, what do you replace the church with? Games? What? Another person, a believer? What? Riches? That's foolish. Amen. So the point here is, number 11, I will read this twice because you may not get it. Characteristic of a backslider could have been a lot better if you were not backslidden. Amen? Amen. That's what I want to tell you. Yes, sometimes we look at the backslider. Oh, the restore naman pala eh. Ah, ngayon, okay na siya. Oh, okay. Eh, dati ka no, di ba? Ganyan yung ginawa niya. Okay naman pala eh. Ako din. I will, uh, I will do the same. You're a fool. Amen? Amen? Don't! Just trust the Lord that it is better not to go out and uh, suffer all those humility unless you're, uh, you're like a pig. The prodigal son is like a pig. You want pig eat a uh, pig food? I hope not. Amen? Also, your slippery slope there. It is possible that you don't come back. Not come back, not willing to come back, or you'll be dead before you want to come back. Do you want that? If you're wise, don't. Okay? Kaya number 11 could have been better, a lot better if you were not backslidden. So, so conclusion, let us understand how miserable. That's why we gone all through that. All through that. Because a backslidden life is a miserable life. Amen? Never fail to remember how welcoming and forgiving the Lord. Kung sakali lang, in case you're, you come to that place because you're foolish, you're carnal, you're a rebel, still you can hope for the Lord and should hope for the Lord. But if you're wise, like we always say, eh, it's better to be with the Lord and the Lord's people. Amen? Amen. Like uh, another example. <laughs> For example, you enjoy wine. Some people enjoy wine, right? Alcoholic drinks. So, what is better to enjoy that, for example, for 10 years, then go back sober? Ah, I don't want wine anymore. Yeah, but you have consequence in your body. May tama yan, sigurado. So, better trust the Lord, stay with the Lord. Amen? Amen. You can hope for the best when you're with the Lord. Rather than rebelling against him, and perhaps you get a weeping. Amen? Amen. Let's pray, Lord. Man. We thank you, Lord, for this message again. I pray that you will uh, bless everybody, Lord, who doesn't wish to be backslidden. Sometimes it's hard because of the temptation of the world, and even other Christians, and even the traps that Satan is. Uh, Hitting us with, I pray, Lord, that you will uh, guide us. You will uh, help us to avoid the traps of the devil. But in case we uh, were fooled into thinking that it's a good to backslide, Lord, please forgive us because actually this backsliding state is uh, many uh, levels and uh, certain degrees of truth even most in most of us so i pray that we be get back to you as soon as possible uh, we don't risk your wrath against us we don't risk uh, consequences of the sin and backslidden state we pray 
in case we're here or even other people or other brethren that we know of I pray you will just uh, touch them and uh, teach them remind them Lord that uh, it's better to be in your graces in your uh, presence and your blessings and your the boundary of your uh, commandments and uh, we pray in uh, just help us Lord to especially our kids also those people that are under authority please help us Lord uh, remind them <coughs> and ourselves also to be better children and therefore we can expect a lot more blessings and rewards so that's all we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.